Alright, welcome back New World Defenders to part 2 of my 3 part series on lucid dreaming. This time we are going to be talking about uh, things that you can do right before bed in order to increase your chances of having a lucid dream. Now um, some of this stuff takes a lot of practice and some of this stuff can be doing, done in one night and uh, you might just find yourself to be an expert uh, your first time trying to lucid dream. So um, uh, let's get started. The first thing um, is a uh, technique uh, that I, a friend actually told me, um, which is to lay completely flat in your bed, meaning uh, arms straight like this and your legs straight completely flat <coughs> in your bed and not to fight your body um, to move. Um, what he suggested was um, you'll, your body's going to tell you I, I want to roll over or I want to cross my arms. That's a big no-no. Do not cross any of your body parts, legs, arms. Um, do not lay on your side. Do not lay on your stomach. Uh, his suggestion is as soon as you uh, come into the dream from that, that you take your hands and you start rubbing them together while in the dream, not in the waking life. Your body should be remaining still, but you're going to feel uh, what he's, he calls a falling sensation where you're falling into the dream and when you come into the dream he said immediately uh, start rubbing your hands together uh, get low to the ground and start rubbing your hands together so that there isn't that freak out jolt um, that we all know so well where you're you just fall asleep and then you wake up and you jolt out of bed and it, it's really scary um, sometimes that can lead to sleep paralysis uh, don't do that <laughs> um, Another technique is to have one arm above your head, um, like have, have another pillow under your arm, and um, that way when you start falling asleep, your arm will actually fall down um, because you'll be getting relaxed so that you'll, you won't be dreaming at this point because it'll be like mid falling asleep, and um, that'll kind of wake you up for a second, make you realize that you're still in the waking life. And, but you'll be tired at that point, so when you go back to sleep, um, you're going to have that little little memory in your mind of, of that, that waking up, and it'll be easier for you to um, wake up in the dream. Um, another thing, um, kind of two things that go together here, um, uh, this is third on my list, is uh, to tell yourself that you will have a lucid dream before you have the dream. Now, I, I actually heard recently um, in uh, one of Chris's videos um, that uh, our words actually create. Um, when, we, when we speak, um, things tend to change, and um, this, this is a good example of it. Um, when, when you tell yourself repeatedly before you go to sleep, I'm going to have a lucid dream. I'm going to have a lucid dream. I'm going to have a lucid dream. Um, you know, you, your odds are better that you're going to have a lucid dream because you're, you're setting your, your, uh, your tone um, and your whole psyche to say um, to the universe, I want to have a lucid dream. And, you know, law of attraction says the universe has to return that to you and hence you'll have a lucid dream. Um, and another thing that kind of goes along with this is meditating before you go to bed. And this is what I've had the best results with, is um, actually just uh, either laying down in my bed and meditating or sitting in lotus position and um, just kind of uh, gathering the silence and uh, connecting you know, with the universe, taking really deep breaths and exhaling really slowly. And that for me, um, with the uh, I'm going to have a lucid dream on my mind um, is just uh, the results are unequivocal with that and the um, the final thing and this is actually something that I heard in another YouTube video about a year ago is uh, to set two alarms 45 minutes apart and I don't know why 45 minutes is the magic number but there seems to be something about um, when you wake up uh, what you do from the first alarm is you, you wake up from that and you get up, get out of bed and do something, read a book, but keep in mind that, that you're still dreaming. Like, tell yourself that even though you woke up and got out of bed and you might know in the back of your mind, convince yourself that you're still dreaming. And 
um, by doing that, um, it's it's setting up your mind to um, be comfortable in the dream so that you don't have a freak out wake up. And by by doing this, what what they say to do is um, stay awake for 45 minutes, and when the second alarm goes off, go right back to bed, and you know practice everything that. Um, Hopefully, I'm going to be able to uh, give some good ideas in the next uh, next part of this video about um, what to do mid-dream. So, um, I will see you guys there. Peace.